Hey guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers here. Today I want to take you around the Lamar FA. It's a bumper pull deck over power tilt uh, panel setup. 14,000 GVW as shown. This is offered in 24 and 26 foot lengths with tandem sevens as shown. You can also get tandem 8,000 pound axle or triple 7,000 pound. Again, shown here in a bumper pull, also available in a gooseneck. So I want to take you for a walk around this one. Everything pretty much you see here except for the winch plate at the front of the deck is all standard equipment. A lot of trailers, uh, a lot of this would be optional. I want to take you around some of those uh, features that, again, are kind of on this that aren't on a lot of others. Now, deck over tilts, a lot of times you're going to get one of two ways they're going to be built. They're either going to be built pretty, I'll say, full featured uh, with all the bells and whistles, fairly heavy. Or a lot of times they're going to be built somewhat, I'll say, lighter. Um, don't find much in between. This would be more of the heavy-duty setup. Um, let's uh, show you what makes this the heavy-duty. So the first thing you're going to see here, if it looks a little beefier, this has a 10-inch I-beam. Industry norm, I would say, is more often than not going to be an 8-inch beam. So a little bit uh, extra heavy. Front couplers boxed and plated a little bit different than some. You've got the Demco Easy Latch couplers, which are nice. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, you leave it open. As you crank it down, it's gonna automatically close down. It's also a cast coupler. A lot of times these are only rated for 14,000. I believe these are actually rated to 21,000. There you go, 21,000. It's one of the few uh, two bolt cast couplers rated for that, so it actually works on the triple. Another thing you're gonna notice, this is a blue cold weather wire harness. A lot of times they're gonna be black. These are just rated for a negative, I believe, 60 or 65 degree. Just stays nice and flexible. You can tie it in a knot. Uh, integrated chain holders, kind of neat design. One of the things that I find to be really cool on this, uh, it's a dual toolbox setup. Kind of hard to do this with one hand. Uh, big old, uh, big old box here up front. You've got shown here would be a spare tire in it. You still got spots for chains, binders, ratchets, etc. Uh, but again, spare tire, standard equipment. The box is standard equipment. Then the other thing you got to notice, dual jacks are also standard equipment. Uh, industry norm on this, I would say more often than not, you're going to find a single jack. This has dual 12K jacks. The one nice part about the dual jacks that I really like is it's super easy to get to the handles for each. So uh, you're not, you know, typically you've got a single jack all the way back here. Yeah, it's not the end of the world, but you got to crawl down your hands and knees to get to the pin. These are obviously more lift and just easier to get to. Uh, you also notice the trail's got a nice look to it. It is a charcoal powder coat, not black, so it doesn't look like everything else uh, on the market. Uh, lots of handles for your toolbox for, for stepping up. Uh, you've got dual side steps on either side. Uh, Three-year structural warranty on Lamar. Uh, pretty normal for tie downs. Uh, a lot in the industry will see a stake pocket, a chain spool, and then a rub rail. Uh, side rails, you see some differences. Some are going to use box tubes. Some are going to be channel. Every once in a blue moon, you'll see angle. But uh, typically channel, most common. That's what this one here is going to be. Uh, the winch plate, we do find a lot of folks add a winch to these. Uh, so we put plates on all of them. I would say probably 30, 40, 50% of power tilts or more uh, all get a, a winch. So it just seems logical to us to go ahead and put the plate on it, make it easier. It's already pre-drilled. It's actually got a hole you can put your wiring down through. So pretty slick. Uh, normal for the industry would be your pressure treated pine decking. Uh, this is two by eights. Drive over fender wells there. So let me show you one thing that's not normal to the industry. This is another, I'll say, bonus feature to the Lamar would be the side box. So a lot of times you'll get a front A-frame box from most manufacturers, which your hydraulics are in. So you've got the front box and then also a side box. Hydraulics in this, and then you still have a little bit of room left. Uh, one 10-volt charger is standard equipment. And then this one is also a little bit different. You get some more bonus features here. Power up, power down, but then you also have a gravity down option on there, which is nice. Uh, I don't have any other manufacturer here that does the, the gravity down as a standard. Uh, one thing that hopefully you won't need, but uh, does come in handy, troubleshooting guide. Typically the most common issue we see with anything with a battery is that the battery needs charged. 
Uh, that issue normally, if we have a, I'll say a customer service issue with somebody calling in, uh, saying something doesn't work. First thing we're going to ask is, have you charged the battery? Is it charged? Uh, cause normally that'll make a, make it look like there's a, a different problem. And in reality, it's just a battery charge, but there is a, a troubleshooting guide on the faceplate. Uh, certainly your, you know, first step hopefully would be to, uh, to call us if you can't find it on the guide or just don't, don't feel like, uh, going through the, the series of events on the, on the guide itself. Now, uh, this is a KTI pump, power up, power down. Uh, one thing that is unique to Lamar as well, the battery's in a separate battery box, which is nice. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, throwing a strap in here and arcing from the terminals. <coughs> So another feature that is different on Lamar, and I'll show you here in a second as this one powers up. So on most power tilts in the industry, you'll find a dual piston to be the most common hoist, hands down. A lot of times you may be able to option in a scissor as an upgrade. Sometimes you can't, depends on the manufacturer. This has a scissor hoist as standard equipment. And once this gets up a little bit farther, There you go. Once you get up all the way, take a look at why we like the scissor. That scissor mounts at roughly a foot, foot and a half back on a 24 foot tilt. Okay. It's got a lot of leverage. If this were a dual piston, your midpoint of the trailers probably right about there. And that's about where that dual piston would mount. Look how much farther forward that scissor is and how much more leverage it gets. It's just a lot more stable hoist. Ties in nice. Uh, one other thing I'll point out, in the industry, a lot of times you're going to see a 4-inch channel or maybe a 4-inch tube um, uh, bed frame. This is a 6-inch. Uh, generally, you're going to see a 16 on center cross member. One thing that might be different on Lamar, this is a structural 3-inch channel. You're gonna see some in the industry that are gonna use a little bit lighter uh, three inch form cross member, something else to look for. Okay. So dual jacks, front box, side box, 110 volt charger, scissor hoist upgrade, heavier bed frame. Let's keep on going back. You've got the charcoal with the black wheels. We just think it's a nice look. Uh, pretty typical on the wheels tires. It's a 235 80 or 16 10 ply radial tire. Uh, a little bit heavier in the studs. These are going to be a 9 16th where you're normally going to see a half an inch. Uh, typical easy lube hubs. Uh, you can service your own bearings, pull that cap off, and there's a grease dirt behind it there. You can do your own bearing maintenance. Uh, it's got the newer style forward self-adjusting brakes that um, act similar to a car. They self-tension, self-forward throughout the life of the pad. Uh, one nice thing that's, that's not commonly found on these would be a wet bolt kit on your slipper spring. A lot of times they'll just have a standard slipper. Uh, these are a little bit more, I'll say, serviceable. Uh, another thing that is a little bit different, actually, I'll point out that I missed. Uh, extra markers going down the sides. This one has, I believe, five. A lot of times you'll just get your, uh, I'll say, required marker lights. This one's got a few extra. Of course, your spring mount light bar that comes up underneath or some will call your ICC bar that tucks underneath. It's all spring assisted about a three and a half foot or so tread plate tail on this. Didn't grab my angle gauge before I came out here today, but this, uh, this angle on this is going to be a little over 15 degrees industry norm, somewhere between 15 to 17. Uh, sometimes in the industry you'll see 22 footers. Lamar goes 24s and 26s mainly, uh, so maybe a little bit longer than some. I think part of that just is it's a bigger, heavier-duty trailer. Uh, normally, your 22s are a little more lighter. Um, sometimes, too, in your 22s, your axles will get slid um, almost completely to the center point of the trailer. 24 and 26 will allow you to have that pivot point just a little bit farther back. So again, I said fully sealed wire harness. This trailer is powder coated. Again, your side step on both sides, plated out, top, bottom, center. 
So again, folks, this is a little Mar. It's a it's an FA model, 102 by this is a 24 foot, 14,000 pounder. It's available in a handful of different configurations. We do stock most of the different configurations this is available in. So if this isn't what you want, give us a shout. We probably have it in stock. Appreciate you watching. If you get a chance, take a look at our uh, website, www.bestchoicetrailers.com, or feel free to give us a ring at 717 220 4220. Thank you.